Hey guys, we are at the Flying Fish Public Market and Grill. We've ate here before, so we're going to go in here and get something to eat. We'll let you know what we've got. We'll let you know if it's any good. Uh, like always, thank you so much today tuning in. We've enjoyed this trip down to Myrtle Beach. Like I said in the other episode, she's been wanting to come here for the last year and a half. And so we made it down here this year. So let's go in here and get something to eat. You could have gone anywhere, been anyone. You stole my heart like a thief on the run. You're not much for taking chances, but you're taking a chance on me. Okay, babe, tell them what we got. You got the fried, pan-fried grouper with french fries, coleslaw, mango salsa. I got grilled shrimp, corn on the cob, and sweet potato fries. Now, we've eaten here before, mm -hmm. and so if they want to, they can go down and look at the other video. Mm -hmm. So, it's, as you can tell, she's got a long sleeve. It's very breezy. Very breezy. This place was packed through here. And I did put deodorant on today. But all of them's gone. It's a little too cold. Yeah, they've moved back inside. But we're going to step outside and eat. Because the view is just gorgeous. Hey, guys. I wanted to come on and just give it a little view of the restaurant. We just say that. Atmosphere is great. Mm -hmm. Service is awesome. I think that was the manager walking around. I like all of that. Mm -hmm. This is a chain, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, they own other restaurants. So I think what we would recommend, this is the most expensive for lunch that we've had since we've been here. Yeah. And it was more of a dinner yeah. price that we would expect. Well, we would we went because we knew it was on the waterway. Before tip, it was 70-some dollars. Uh, yeah. One thing they're doing, and I didn't know this, and Teresa pointed it out when we walked in, one thing that they're starting to do is charge you. If you use a credit card, they're charging you 3%. 3% for any non-cash transaction, and that's just not this restaurant. This, when I got had my nails done yesterday, um, and there, I noticed it at another restaurant. I'm not sure everybody does it, but a lot do. Because we've been noticing ATM machines interspersed um, throughout. And I think there's maybe people going to get money out of an ATM machine. Of course, you're going to pay a fee you in some instances. Our, our account, I mean, with what we've got, like we use, we get reimbursed if there's not one local. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, you'd be charged more money than the 3% with the draw. And then there's a the Myrtle Beach tax on top. Yeah, 7.5%. So this is a very touristy place. It's just like going to Gatlinburg or Sevierville, something like that. So keep that in mind. We 
not that the food wasn't good here. It was good. It was the presentation was good. The atmosphere. We would have been better everything. if we'd gone back to the shack or to crab catchers. What I'm learning, and and you correct me if I'm wrong, is if you go to locally owned stores that maybe have one or something like that, the prices are cheaper. Well, I think you're getting a better quality. Um, you're getting things that are homemade they take pride in. I know with this they have a public market for fish so you can buy actual fresh fish and I was overhearing one of the servers saying they get it and then it's cooked or sold within 48 hours but like at crab catchers they get their stuff like fresh here except the haddock so yeah. because it's a northern fish so you're going to I think get a better quality of food if you go someplace local mom and uh, pop's kind mom of mom and pop not a chain local. so but i will say we're not throwing this off this no, was no, good we've no. been here a couple of times so we're not saying that yeah. not to come here to no, eat absolutely not you, the atmosphere and everything's good we you know we would say come here and eat if you you know mm -hmm. if you'd like it you like fish well we really like they give you a smoked it's mahi oh, that's um, really good appetizer like a dip with some different crackers so that's good and if you eat outside or um, I think almost all of their dining spots you can see out on the water so you're not going to go wrong by going here especially if you're going to come to Barefoot Landing to yeah. shop this um, is a good option for you I would prefer Tea. this over Lulu's um, but keep that just keep that in mind when you do travel down here no. um, so again come here neat we do recommend it it's really nice it's pricier than the other places we ate but we also when we're out camping and traveling we try to check around and we ask people where do the locals go what is the food they like and that's the last two places we went to prior to this one is where local people where go. Locals go so please go check those out come to this place this is the touristy spot yes. um, it's in the middle of shopping so try it try both but you're going to get a better deal at a mom and pop yeah. so she wants to go over here and walk around to here get warm. <laughs> to get warm it was chilly when well, the wind blew the shade yeah but it's now, just May the 4th, so... But again, we're here at Barefoot Landing, mm -hmm. so there's a little shopping center thing over here. She wants to go walk around, so we're going to go do that. That's one reason we came here and ate, mm -hmm. uh, was because of that. So let's go over here. She sees anything she likes and wants to pull it out, we'll show it to you. If not, we're excited about some things we're going to show you today. We're going to, uh, this evening, we're going to review the place that we're staying at and uh, show you some things there so that's coming up a little bit later so let's go over here and see what uh, i can talk her out of buying <laughs> that's that's al's not here with me because usually when he's here we try to see who spends the most so whoever spends the most wins and really you want to be a loser in that but he's not here so i guess either which way i win and lose both so let's get over here and look around and see what you can find
Hey guys, we forgot the tripod. So <laughs> I'm standing here at the truck so I could set the camera on it so we could talk to you about our experience here at this campsite and what we think about it. And we're going to show you some photos and video as we drive in and let you look at it. Uh, the name of the place is Carol Woods RV Park and Sisters Grateful Sisters Vineyard. 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 Make sure I say that right. Um, we've been here before. This is one of the first places. Some, you know, the first little bit we had our camp, but we mm -hmm. came here. Later in the summer. And we loved it. Mm -hmm. But we didn't really videotape us being here. We haven't started the channel. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We hadn't even thought about starting Probably the Probably have some old pictures if you yeah, If I can I find know. them, we can put them in. Uh, but we like this campsite. It's kind of laid back. It's quiet. You're about 35, 30 to 35. Mm -hmm. From Myrtle. From Myrtle North, Beach. North Myrtle. North Myrtle. So as you saw throughout the episode, and we're not finished, we're just going to do this one. Then we got uh, another couple more days here that we'll share with you. But we thought we would do this one in between those. Um, the campsites are, are wide. Mm -hmm. A lot of pull through. All the ones that's not pull through is the ones that we will yes. show you. It's on the edge of the trees mm -hmm. is not pull through. Everything else, everything in the middle is all pull through. We did get here late at night, and Teresa showed you the photo in the last episode where I should have followed it more. Didn't even think about it. It was a rookie mistake uh, about our... Uh, I think it was a mistake because I think if you were thinking there was a tree there, you would have had to have pulled really far. So I'd I, had I to come up closer and park our mistake. truck I don't behind. Think there was a mistake. Uh, well, I could have checked it out, but I didn't. But it's um, it's a great place. We would we think it's a hidden gem here. Mm -hmm. We we would recommend. We're shocked it's not packed. Well, you're you're paying half because some of the places like where we, which is a nice place, at Barefoot. Yeah, we like Barefoot that. RV. Mm -hmm. But it's double the price. Almost. Almost, yeah. And then if you go into like an Ocean's Lake or something like that, you're paying um, upwards near $100, I think, a night uh, to stay in an RV park. So relatively, they give a good sand discount here, and you're going to pay right at 50 A little bit less than 50 A little less than $50. We were here, where we, we got here Monday night, and we're staying to... Sat, uh, Sunday morning, and it was three twenty. And that's with your with tax good, Sam, and good your Sam's good discount. discount. Also, as you saw, we they allow you to wash your Vehicle. our, vehicles and RVs here. So we paid the ten dollars and cleaned mm -hmm. uh, Lady Gray on the last episode. That's what we were doing. It was with to me is really worth it because the ground mm -hmm. takes in the water the pretty water. well. Mm -hmm. We done it yesterday and then put everything out today uh, and it was already dry. So that went real well. Uh, we went, now if we were going to stay at Myrtle Beach, we'd stay at the one place. We would go, if you want a true beachfront, then you're going to need to go into like, I think it's Pirate's Cove or Pirate's Landing. But you have um, ocean lakes, and I'm not sure if they're beachfront or not. Um, but Barefoot Landing, we like, but you're several blocks away from the beach. But you're in Myrtle Beach. You're, you're, in, you're in North Myrtle. And the internet's great there. Mm -hmm. Now here... Oh, and you have concrete. Yeah, concrete, concrete. slabs. It's mm -hmm. brand new. People are really nice there. We'll go there and stay again, mm -hmm. most definitely. Mm -hmm. We we recommend that place, too. But this place here, to me, for the price, they have a swimming pool. They also have a couple of cabins. You know, we didn't look to see if they had laundry services. I didn't see cabins. The the two buildings there at front are cabins. Oh, okay. The ones that uh, on the video, mm -hmm. and I'll point them out to you and show you. Hey, these they are. They have cabins. a little chapel. They have a little store. They inside the um, vineyard. They do have wine tasting. If that's something that you enjoy. We don't drink. We don't drink, but we did buy. They have non-alcoholic scuppernog and. Um, Muscadine, like a grape juice. They it had very cider. Good. Cider was really but good. But they also had um, cheese and jams, jellies, crackers, chocolates. 
and we were trying to work out with the sisters to go in and, and talk with them a little more but it's not worked out if it does it'll be added to this um, but they are really sweet mm -hmm. and really nice they got some really good stories about the is it a goose mm -hmm. a goose is here and I'll share a little bit about you about it with with you any ducks that have they don't know if it's a male or female but any ducks that are born on the property she adopts them she goes over he or she we don't know which one it is and we will show that to you also in the video uh, and it kind of chased me away I got near three of the ducks that the goose had adopted and it reared up and coming towards me um, but they were telling us that if a duck is having some little ducks I don't know the terminology for the little ducks, but they're little ducks. She'll go... Ducklings. <laughs> ducklings. The goose will go over and watch and and watch it born. And when it's born, it stays right there with them and kind of adopts them. And they said that he or she will come and get them and take them off a little bit and look at the mom. If you want to come, you can. If not, they're fine. They're with me. They said it's been here for 13 years. Mm -hmm. So that was a cute little story and said it also when they were building a building. It walked through some of it and left its prints. On some wet concrete. And she, they told him, said, leave it alone. Mm -hmm. said, we, they said they could fix it, said, no, leave it alone. So they got some good stories. Uh, we would recommend the non-alcoholic stuff because that's what we did. Also, they said, if you mentioned that we're on our way since you, you'll get a discount. Mm -hmm. So I encourage you to stop in there and try the stuff that Teresa recommended to you. It was really, really good. Uh, You're not far from Calabash. We already showed you the creamery there, so I would definitely give this place a go. We will be back. Um, well, we've been here once. Again, the internet here is good. Is really good. I mean, there's a lot of places that advertise internet, and it's not. So if you're working from home, mm -hmm. you could do it here. Uh, or traveling, working, not working from home, really. You could do it here. We've got different devices hooked up. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I'm working on an episode now that I'm going to put out while we're here. I've not got to do that any other place I've been because the internet's not been that good. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be able to do that here. Um, but we would recommend that you try this place because it is a very nice place to come. Um, was there anything else that we were going to share about this place? I don't think so. Just come and see it. Come and see it. Uh, I am going to do an overview, uh, a flyover, and let you look at some things and uh, a look look down at it. But if we see anything a little bit special, so we're going to walk around the campsite. We'll jump on and show that to you. But we just wanted you to know that we do highly recommend this place, especially if you just want to kind of lay back. Hey, guys. The battery went out the, when I was with Teresa a while ago, so I'm going to end the program here outside. As you can tell, we got Lady Gray illuminated back there in the back we had a fire tonight and uh just an enjoyable evening here at the campsite again teresa and i recommend this place to you also we want you to know that we appreciate you especially all those new subscribers thank you so much for being part of our community there's one thing we were going to tell you maybe you've noticed this we just noticed it when you go out and eat and you're using a credit card a lot of these places are charging you 3% to use your credit card. So let me know if that's happening where you're at. Comment below and let us know if you're seeing that when you go out to a place. I know I use that to track how much money we've spent and all that stuff. Uh, but maybe we might have to change that because over a process of time, 3% could be a, a lot of money. So comment below and let me know if you're seeing that where you're at. Also, again, we appreciate you. If you haven't, please subscribe. We'd love to comment back and forth, so comment, hit the bell, and share. We would appreciate that so much. And we'll see you next time because we're on our way.
guys, today did not start out the way that we thought it would. Did it, baby? No, but you had two, there's two issues. Oh, well, we've One got... One is our propane detector. Just, we noticed it on the last couple of camping trips, just for no reason at all, would beep. And no issues even after everything was unhooked and aired out it would still be so okay. i'll show you this then we'll point out our next issue 